The guys over at Klein do not stop working. Today, they've introduced their latest new update, which is the version 3.5 release. We're slowly but surely getting close to 4.0, and I can't wait for what they have in stock for that upgrade. But with this current 3.5 release, they've enabled the expanding thinking option for Claude 3.7 Sonnet to get better reasoning for code generation. There's a new MCP response type. They've also added language preferences, new model providers, which includes Grok, but you still can't access the Grok 3 API yet, and a few other things that we're going to be taking a look at as we go further into the video. But for the people who do not know what Klein is, it's an autonomous coding agent directly within your IDE, capable of creating, editing files, executing commands, using the browser, and much more with your permission each step of the way. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started and showcase all the new highlights of part of this version 3.5 release. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Let's first start off with the expanded thinking incline with Claude 3.7 Sonnet, where you have the ability to enable extended thinking, and this is within the settings option. And this allows Klein to allocate separate thinking budgets for plan and act modes when you're using the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. But what does this basically mean? It means that Klein is going to be more thoughtful and strategic. And this is by adjusting these budgets that will enable you to control how much reasoning power the AI dedicates to different stages of your coding process. For example, if you're using the plan mode, they recommend that you use a higher thinking budget which is going to improve decision making, strategize on your development, as well as the overall project planning. It's going to ensure that Klein carefully evaluates different approaches before it executes with the act mode. This is where you can set a lower budget with this mode, and it's going to be more suitable for quicker execution tasks like writing code, modifying files, or even running commands efficiently. Now you have more customizable options and adaptability when you're working with this Claude 3.7 Sonnet model as you can use this expanded thinking to execute better generations with the plan mode and then have it executed with the act mode. Last week, we saw the introduction of Klein's MCP Marketplace, which is your one-stop shop for endless tools that you can add to Klein. MCP servers are basically plugins that connect Klein to your favorite tools and enables direct AI interaction with your daily apps. With just one single click within this marketplace, you can have it installed into Klein and then have it powered within your workspace and have it as a companion with these different apps. And now with the Klein version 3.5 release, it brings richer, more interactive MCP responses with visual content rich displays, where you have automatic image previews, and this is gonna enable you to see different types of images instantly without extra clicks on the web. You have rich link previews, which gives you website thumbnails and detailed summaries. You have enhanced tool outputs where you can actually view charts, graphs, as well as different visualizations directly within the chat interface of Klein. And lastly, you have seamless mode switching where you can toggle between rich displays and plain text for a tailored experience. And essentially, this is making the whole approach towards MCP more intuitive, more insightful, and visually engaging, so it's easier for developers to use. Another new feature is that Klein now supports all API available Grok models, which is going to expand your AI capabilities with the two main models that Grok provides, excluding the Grok 3 because it's not fully available through API yet, but it will be soon. But you can now access these two main models from Grok, the Grok 2 and the Grok 2 Vision. Grok2 is going to enable you access to its 131k token context window, which is ideal for handling large code bases. The Grok2 Vision, on the other hand, is going to allow you support for image analysis with accurate pricing implementation. And overall, this is going to bring you deeper context understanding with powerful vision capabilities at a cheap price, so it's definitely a great add-on to now access it via Klein. Oh, they also added support for the GPT 4.5, which I don't know why you would want to use it, but you can now access it through Klein. Now, if you're looking to install Klein, it's super easy to do so. You can easily install it for any IDE. 
In this case, it's preferred to use VS Code, but you can use Cursor, WinSurf, or any of the other ones that are out there. And once you have installed an IDE, you can head over to Microsoft's Marketplace and you can go ahead and click on Install and it'll open it up within your IDE. You can then go over to the Marketplace Stop and you can go ahead and install this. Now, since I have it already installed, I'm going to need to go ahead and update it to the latest release to access the new features. So go ahead and update it and then restart the extension. And then you can go over to Klein and then access the new update. A feature I didn't mention is that if you go over to the settings tab, you can go over to advanced settings and you can head over to the section that says uh, preferred language. And this is where you can set your language to whatever preferred language that is available from Spanish all the way to something like Portuguese. So you can go ahead and set this and then have the responses outputted in that language. To give you a rough idea of what you can do with MCP servers, head over to the marketplace and what you can actually do is look through all the different types of plugins and essentially you have different categories from browser automation all the way to something like virtualization. So let's go over to all categories and let's take a look at something that we can easily get started with. Something that comes straight to my mind is integration of Superbase or Superbase, you can go ahead and click install and this will allow you to easily integrate the integration of Superbase within Klein so that's easier for you to set up full stack apps with this extension. So it makes the process of creating databases as well as authentication systems quite easily with this plugin. So after it autonomously installs MCP server for me, we can then go ahead and access it. So it looks like it is now set up. So in this case, what you can do is you can have user management controlled within Klein. You have SSO configuration as well as authentication control. So what you can do is you can say, show me the latest uh, database schemas in your subbase project. And it will actually give you a list of all that. And you can also ask it something like list all the public tables or public schemas. We can ask it that. And it'll actually give us insights on this as it will use the MCP server. So you can see it is using the Subways MCP server and it's going to be able to list out all the tables, foreign tables, and views in schema as well as their sizes. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically a gist of the new Klein version 3.5 update. I definitely recommend that you try this out. It's small, but it's definitely packed with a lot of different things. So I definitely recommend that you try it out with all the links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI contents. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon to join our private Discord. Follow us on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, like this video, as well as taking a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.